This video demonstrates how to change the color gradient of the map. This video also demonstrates how to exclude states and change the map layers. While the labels will definitely help those individuals who didn't create the map understand the data that we're presenting, we could also make our map visualization easier to interpret by drawing people's attention to particular states using color gradation. We will change the color gradation of our map based on total sales, where lighter colors will designate states with lower total sales and darker colors will designate states with higher total sales. To do this, under the, we're going to locate the total value under the measures menu and we're going to drag it over to color under the marks option. Just as with our label for total sales, we can see that the default option measure is sum. If we change the label from something other than sum, then we'll probably want to repeat that process of clicking on the down arrow, navigating to the measure sum option, and changing the measure as we feel appropriate for our colors. Our map now appears with color variations ranging from light blue to dark blue. We can also change the color gradient from the default to green since we're dealing with money. To do this, we're going to navigate up into the upper right hand corner of our canvas and we can see the legend that appears for some total. It has the ranges of a dollar's worth of sales all the way up to $412 and shows us how the color variation appears on our map. If we hover over the right hand corner of the legend, then we can go ahead and click on the down arrow that appears. We're going to select the color, edit colors option. Once we're in the edit colors box, then we can go ahead and select the down arrow for the palette box and we can change the color to green. We can then click apply and we'll see our map change behind this box to green so that we get a preview of it and then we can go ahead and click on OK. While I'm directing you to create the visualization using green, you could also see that there's a large number of color options available for you to use. Consider both your projector slash screen capabilities and your audience, such as whether anyone in your audience is colorblind or they have particular color preferences so that you can determine the appropriate color selections for your maps or other visualizations. Since most of the total sales occur in Indiana, Chicago Law and Popcorn's home state, we may want to in eliminate this state from our map. Eliminating Indiana may help in two ways. First, it can help Chicago Land Popcorn executives easily understand where the majority of their sales are happening outside of Indiana. Second, Chicago Land Popcorn has already established sales tax nexus in the state of Indiana through their physical presence there. As such, it's largely irrelevant to answering the question of where has Chicago Land Popcorn established economic nexus. So we can go ahead and eliminate in Indiana to draw attention to the states that we are concerned about for this case. We can quickly eliminate states from our map by hovering over the state that we'd like to eliminate and right clicking. From here we can go ahead and click exclude from the quick menu that appears. The map automatically adjusts the color gradients so that we can now see the states where there are higher levels of sales without considering Indiana. We also now see the state option under the filters box. If we click on the down arrow that appears, we can then look at the filter that has been applied by selecting edit filter. And if we scroll down, we'll see that Indiana is the only state that is selected because we have the exclude option checked in the lower right hand corner. To make a, the map appear a little bit nicer for the presentation, we can also change the map layers to fit our desired presentation style. In this case, we're going to change our map layers to normal instead of the default map layer of light, which is what it is right now. To do this, we're going to navigate up to the map menu and we're going to click on that once and we'll see the option for map layers on the menu that appears. We can see that the style is defaulted to light, so we can go ahead and change that over to normal. We can also see that we have a variety of other options that we could use to label our map via the terrain, the coastline, borders, and so on and so forth. We have a number of other style options. We could change it over to dark, we could change it to satellite, but for now we're just going to go back to normal. 
Go ahead and click X when you're done editing your map layers. And just like we did with the colors, we're going to want to consider how this map layering is going to look on a screen or projector and also consider our audience.